That's right. Okay. All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I am, uh, good afternoon. Hello. I'm Kim Henderson, and I am the Market Vice President for Cox Roanoke, which is part of Cox Virginia, and we're so glad to have you here. On behalf of Cox Communications, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to each of you as we celebrate the Roanoke launch of Connect to Compete a national not-for-profit initiative that aims to extend broadband internet access to families with financial needs. Before we get started, I'd like to uh, take a moment to thank the uh, Boys and Girls Club for welcoming us here and thank these wonderful students and uh, for being here today. So thank you very much. Yay. <laughs> I have to tell you, as a board member of this great organization, I can't say enough how excited I am to stand before you as we announce the important program to help bridge the div digital divide for children that deserve to have the resources that they need to succeed in school, that resource being broadband access. The children and families in the Roanoke Valley that will benefit from Connect to Compete are so important to this region and our continued economic development. At this time, I'd like to recognize our distinguished guests that we have today. Um, first of all, I'd rec like to recognize Congressman Bob Goodlatte. Congressman. <laughs> Mayor David Bow Bowers, Roanoke City. <laughs> and representing Senator Tim Kaine's office, Gwen Mason. Gwen. <laughs> also, we have Delegate Greg Habib. Greg, good to see you. And we have Bill Bestwich, Roanoke City Council. We also have, uh, I don't know if I saw her, Anita Price, uh, Roanoke City Council, and she's not here, so hopefully she'll be here a little bit later. Uh, Roanoke City Sheriff Octavia Johnson. Is Octavia, there she is. I also want to point out that Octavia is a board member here at the Boys and Girls Club along with me, so good to see you. Uh, Dr. Lorraine Lang, uh, Superintendent, Roanoke County Schools. <laughs> and we have our Boys and Girls Club, uh, Southwest Virginia Chief Professional Officer, Lori Gibbons. Lori? There she, there she is. <laughs> And then our wonderful uh, Boys and Girls Club uh, board chair, Walt Deary, thank you for being here. And in addition to that, I'd like to recognize the Cox leadership team that's here today, beginning with my boss, Gary McCollum, Senior Vice President and General Manager. Gary, good to see you. And I think coming in a little bit later will be Carla Evans. She's not here yet. We also have Emma uh, Inman. Emma, good to see you. And running the camera is Will Rodriguez. Will? <laughs> and Barrett Stork, I saw him. He's moving around quickly, but Barrett is here as well. There he is. Uh, and then also Ted Williams. So glad to have you here. Well, and as I mentioned early on, in addition to our wonderful guests that are physically here, we are also via Cox9 uh, YouTube channel. We are also streaming live uh, video across the internet. So welcome to all of our virtual watchers as well. Glad to have you watching. Um, and so again, thanks to everyone for being here in person as well as being here virtually. So uh, we're very excited. At this time, I'm going to introduce my boss, Gary McCollum, um, again, who is the uh, Senior Vice President and General Manager for Cox, Virginia. Just to give you a little background on Gary, Gary leads over 2,200 employees across Virginia, uh, uh, providing residential, commercial services, as well as advertising. And Virginia includes Northern Virginia, Hampton Roads, Fredericksburg, and Roanoke as well. Gary is also, also from Roanoke, or has been here before, lived here in Roanoke, so we are just thrilled to have Gary back. I'm thrilled to have him as a boss, so Gary, welcome to the stage. All right, thank you, Kim. Thank you. All right, what a great day. You know, as I begin, I, I first would like to um, start with a message for the real stars of this whole event. And you know who the real stars are? Us. No, you, you guys. That's right, you guys. Believe it or not, a few years ago, well, more than a few years ago, 
I sat in the same place that you're sitting. I was a member of a boys and girls club. Actually, they called it a boys club back in those days. And I actually, I grew up in a housing project in Richmond, Virginia. It was a pretty poor area, but there was a club that I could go to every single afternoon. It was a safe place. I had great people, just like you have great people here to show you different things. And it really made a difference in my life. And, you know, this was the place where not only where I learned how to read and develop and learn this passion for reading and a uh, passion for listening to my mentors and people who just expected me to do great things and go off to college. Uh, no one in my family had ever gone to college before. My, my dad couldn't read or write. My, my mom passed away uh, when I was 10 years old. So I had some tough things going up, but there was always the club here that helped me. And so I just wanted you guys, the real stars of this whole event, to know that every single person that's here, the congressman, the mayor, all of these important people, they're here because they believe in you. We believe in you guys. We believe that you're going to do great things. And, and these childhood experiences that I had, and I'm sure the ones that you're having, it, it will show you the profound impact of why education is so important. That's why the question that I asked you guys when I first came in, how many people are getting what? A's. A's are important. You really want to make sure that you're doing your best. I'm also delighted that we are joined here today again by special guests, uh, Congressman Goodlatte, Mayor Bowers, Dr. Lang, Lori Gibbons, and so many other officials. Uh, it's really important, and thank you again for joining us for this wonderful event. I also, again, want to recognize Kim. I, I want to call her Kim Stanley, but I'm going to call you Kim <laughs> Henderson. Uh, Kim is doing a phenomenal job as our market vice president here in Roanoke, and I want to thank her and her entire team for all of the great work that they've done in making sure that this event is a fantastic event, and surely it is. And on behalf of Cox, thank you all for taking time to celebrate the launch of a program we are extremely excited about, and that is to connect to compete. Supporting our youth and helping them achieve academically uh, is a core belief that our company has. It, from the founding of our company back in the 1890s, we've always been about making sure that young people that they're invested in and they uh, are able to be given the tools so that they can be successful. Providing access to affordable internet services is only the first step in achieving a digitally active and engaged community. And it's a critical foundational step in helping young people to excel academically and later as they enter the workforce. Here at Cox, supporting broadband adoption programs across the country is something that we have been committed to for a long time. More importantly, we're committed to doing it in a way that connects the most vulnerable members of our society, our children, so that they can compete and have a greater chance of success in this digital world that awaits them. You've, uh, we've heard all the statistics, all of us have, have heard those about children who don't have access to the internet at home, uh, how they are, they are disadvantaged at school, uh, falling behind their peers, and we believe that no child should fall behind simply because they don't have access to digital technology. And that is why this program is so important that we're launching today. It's also why Cox jumped at the opportunity and are proud to be uh, the first cable provider in the nation to join the Connect to Compete partnership. Last year, we set up a pilot Connect to Compete program, and based on that success, we are pleased that families right here in Roanoke can access this incredible program, creating a level playing field for all of our children to succeed. By working together with our partners, especially all of you here in Roanoke, we are taking steps toward bridging the digital divide. No one organization or company can make this all happen on their own. It takes many partners to make a broadband adoption program possible. The Connected to Compete program is bringing together the top companies and experts across industries to enhance the educational experience of children and the economic prospects of their parents. I and Cox thank you again for your support and your continued enthusiasm. This has certainly been a team effort and your commitment is very much appreciated. And now it's my privilege to introduce Congressman Bob Goodlatte. He needs no introduction, but I'll say a few things. Congressman Goodlatte represents the 6th Congressional District in Virginia in the U.S. House of Representatives. He is a strong advocate for the region, and he's made a name for himself as a leader on the Internet and, and high-tech uh, issues. He chairs the House Judiciary Committee and is co-chair of the Congressional Internet Caucus and the chairman of the House Republican Technology Working Group. We are grateful, Congressman, that you're here. We're grateful for your outstanding leadership and your continued partnership. Please join me in welcoming Congressman Goodlatte.
Well, Gary, thank you very much, and welcome back to Roanoke. Uh, we always love having you here. Uh, Kim is doing a great job for you. Congratulations, Kim, on your change of name uh, and all that comes with that. We know your new husband, and he's a great guy as well. And uh, thank you for your service, as well as Sheriff Johnson uh, and others uh, on the board of the Boys and Girls Clubs. It is a very, very important organization. Gary, I, too, uh, participated in Boys Club uh, programs when I was a child and uh, benefited uh, greatly from them uh, in my hometown. So uh, you guys have a great uh, opportunity here, and now you have a new great opportunity uh, with Connect to Compete and the idea that you can not only have uh, great Internet uh, in your school, but also bring it home with you, and your, you and your parents will be able to uh, use it together. You know, Roanoke is sometimes called the Magic City, and it's called the Magic City because uh, 120 plus years ago, uh, some people decided that the place where the North South Railroad should cross the East West Railroad was a little place called Big Lick. And when it crossed there, Roanoke boomed. The railroad uh, was the thing. If it came to your community, you grew. If it bypassed your community, you became a ghost town. Well, the internet is the railroad of the 21st century. And the opportunity to have that railroad come right to your home uh, with a great high-speed Internet connection and all the things that that offers to you in terms of educational opportunity and entertainment and shopping and things like that for you and your family, but also the opportunity to create jobs in communities that have the right necessary Internet connections uh, is vitally important. Uh, and our leaders in Roanoke, uh, including Mayor Bowers and uh, uh, Councilman Best Pitch and others uh, have understood that for a long time, and Roanoke's government has been recognized as having uh, uh, a leading role in developing great uh, uh, technology and utilization of the Internet, been recognized uh, many times over many years for that. So this is a great opportunity by a great company, uh, Cox Communications, to expand that uh, right here uh, into people's homes, particularly the homes of people who may need it the most, because we don't know uh, where that next great uh, Mark Zuckerberg or Bill Gates might be. Uh, we don't know who's going to have that great idea to start a business, uh, and they can be from any background uh, to become a great uh, leader in the community, to do great things. Uh, but a great way to find them is to bring the Internet to as many people's homes as possible. So. I'm just here to say thank you very much for uh, the uh, <coughs> initiative that Cox has taken uh, in participating in Connect to Compete, and uh, I wish you all the very best, and uh, uh, thank uh, uh, the community, uh, thank our great legislators like Greg Habib, uh, and thank you all who support Boys and Girls Clubs and who uh, want to see uh, young people and their families have great uh, opportunities in the future. Uh, to uh, see it happen right here uh, in my hometown, Roanoke, Virginia. So thank you all. God bless you all. Thank you, Congressman Goodlad. At this time, I'd like to invite Mayor David Bowers up, City of Roanoke. Thank you, and uh, good afternoon to you all. The last time I was at the Boys and Girls Club, they surprised me with an Olympic fencing star and told me that he wanted to practice his fencing on me. Were, were, any, of you, were any of you, you were there? See, so some of them, some of you saw, and yet I beat him. I want you to know I, was, I beat the guy. So it's always great to be back here at the Boys and Girls Club, and uh, I'm well aware of the good things that are, you are doing for these young people here in our community. And it's nice to be back with each and, one, each and every one of you young folks and to meet you yet again and to shake your hand and say hello to you. I was about your age when I met the, my first mayor, the mayor Benton Dillard, who helped to build the Roanoke Civic Center 40 some years ago. So I hope that you might be inspired uh, as you grow up to become a mayor or a congressman or a delegate or a sheriff. Uh, we'll need uh, uh, good representatives from uh, your generation as well in the future. Um, I thought I might just talk about this for just a minute. This, uh, can you see what this image is? What is that image? It does. It looks like two hands. Can you put your hands like that? I try and pull them apart. Can't do it, can you? 
Now that means that uh, there's a partnership formed. Now that probably means something about being the boys and girls providing something for the young people of our community, but it also means a partnership, I think, between the adults of the community and the young people of the community that we're going to lock arms with you, we're going to lock hands with you, and we're going to provide you um, some uh, education and some learning uh, assistance and some love and some care and some after school programs to help you on your way. And uh, that also means partnership in another way because in Roanoke, Virginia, we're well known as having uh, been successful in uh, building or in creating public-private partnerships. That means the public, the government, the community works with the business community, the corporations. And this is certainly uh, an image that uh, comes to mind as we talk about this Connect, this Connect to Compete program sponsored by Cox. Cox is a private industry. It's a business. They're in, the, they're in business of providing cable, net, uh, c cable services to uh, thousands of, of Virginians like myself, probably millions of Virginians. Is it up to the millions? And, um, and yet they're now stepping forward with this Connect to Compete program to do something good for the communities that they serve, to do something good for the young people uh, throughout Virginia. And so I join with the congressmen and others who are here to congratulate and thank Cox for their leadership on this, for their thoughtfulness in being good partners with our community in providing this uh, internet uh, and digital access uh, to young people throughout uh, the Roanoke Valley. Thank you, Cox, for doing that. Thank you, Mayor Bowers. At this time, I'd like to welcome uh, Dr. Lorraine Lang. She is our superintendent of Roanoke County Schools. Dr. Lang. Good afternoon. How many of you like to use a computer? We all do because um, education has changed drastically from when I went to school, from when you're in the school right now. Education is different. Technology is not a sign of the future. Technology is here today. And we know that we need every type of technology for our students so that they can explore worlds that they can't travel to, that you can find out, as we've said, to be entrepreneurs, to be creative. These are the things that can be done with technology. And we're so excited today because it's a special day that we're going to be allowing families and students in the Roanoke Valley to be able to have that internet connection that can bring them there. We know as educators that technology closes the achievement gap. It's going to help our students with all of their learning and all of their achievement that they're going to be doing. And we couldn't be more happy and thankful that Talk Cox has provided this uh, service for us today. So we're just excited for you boys and girls that you're going to be able to get on that computer at night and do all those kinds of things that you could do during the school. So use it wisely. And thank you, Cox, for everything you do for the schools. All right, thank you, Dr. Lang. Now I'd like to invite up Lori Givens, Chief Professional Officer here at the Boys and Girls Club. Thank you all so much. And on behalf of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Southwest Virginia, um, we're we're glad to have you here this afternoon. We're we're honored to have so many distinguished guests here at our flagship club. As a youth development organization, we understand firsthand how Connect to Compete will influence the families of our club members. Many of our Ninth Street Club members rely solely on our Cox Computer Lab to do their homework and their research projects every day. 60% of the children that we serve here in this club were on the honor roll last year. And we know... It's not easy, but we know that some of that has to do with the fact that they had internet access here at the club in a safe environment with people to help them learn the proper way to use the internet. And we also know that Connect to Compete is gonna do that for so many more children and families throughout our community. 
it's a really important program. We're very honored to be a part of the rolling out of this program here in the Roanoke Valley. And we also know that so many of you will be able to utilize this at home now. So you, you can start your homework here and you might be able to finish it at home, which is a great option to have. So we're really thankful, um, love being a part of this. We understand the impact technology makes on our young people. Um, and and very proud to be um, in partnership with Cox Communications. They are a wonderful corporate citizen, um, always thinking about how they can enhance communications and help those in need. So thank you. Well, we're coming to the conclusion of this wonderful event, and we're going to have a virtual ribbon cutting in just a second. But before we do that, I, I would be remiss if I did not tell you that I have a boss. My boss, he actually works out of Atlanta, and my boss is the great-grandson of the founder of Cox Communications. His name is Alex Taylor. And one of the things that Alex always talks about is how are we making sure that we're taking care of our employees, taking care of our customers, and thirdly and most important, how are we making a difference in the communities that we serve? And so all of the things that the, the speakers have shared today about Cox, it's not something that we started to do yesterday or last week or last month. It really is in the DNA of our company. We are a company that cares about our communities and we want to make a difference in those communities. And so with that, I'm going to ask that Laurie and Dr. Lang join me because as the mayor mentioned, and so did Congressman Goodlatte. This is about partnership, and Connect to Compete would not have been possible without a great partnership, not only with uh, everyone that's here, but especially with these two organizations. And so first, to this is a, a certificate that says, Cox Virginia Connect to Compete Champion Award goes to Laura, Laurie Gibbons, Chief Professional Officer at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Southwest Virginia, for her partnership and dedication to broadband adoption and delivering a digital opportunity to all children. Together, we are one step closer to bridging the digital divide. So, Laura, thank you so much for all you're doing for our young folks. And, and also, because again, this is all about making sure that our young folks are are prepared when they go to school. And so, again, to Dr. Lang, all you're doing at Roanoke County Public Schools, again, for your partnership and dedication, this program would not have gotten off the ground if it were not for your leadership. So on behalf of everyone here, we thank you for all that. your leadership as well. And so with that, Kim, we're going to have a, a virtual yes. ribbon cutting. So we would like to have... Thank you.